Two weeks into protests against a controversial finance bill, demonstrators are still on the streets of Kenya. Police, accused of disproportionate violence, show no signs of backing down. President William Ruto may have scrapped the bill, but protesters' demands have evolved. They want justice for what they say was the government's heavy-handed response to Kenyans exercising their constitutional rights. As our president, he should be addressing us in a good manner. He doesn't address us like as if we are trash or we are some people that doesn't exist in this world. At least a little bit of respect, we will, we will stop coming from, to the streets. Ruto's recent remarks to the media defending tax hikes and police tactics and downplaying the death toll have reignited public anger. Our president is very ignorant. He has no idea. He has no clue. He's so out of touch with reality. So this is us cleaning up the house. It's very important, it's very mandatory. Demands now include cuts to government spending, lower salaries for public officials, and the dismissal of anyone with a criminal record. Lining up empty coffins on the street, they demand justice for the dead. Hold someone accountable for police brutality, they say, and they blame their president. What we're seeing here today is a reflection of the fact that there is still a great deal of anger against the government. Protesters here say that they feel their voices are still not heard and the government still doesn't understand why they're coming out and protesting. Protesters have pledged to shut down major cities twice a week for as long as it takes. But public support for the demonstrators may be fading. We are protecting our shops here. Yeah, Shopkeepers fearing looting turned vigilante on Tuesday. Paranoia, a dangerous element to add to the mix in an already volatile situation. Zain Basravi, Al Jazeera, Nairobi. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.